Hey, it's Real Talk time. Hi, I'm Kelly Wilson, and I'm live using StreamYard. We're live on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. And when I say we, I mean me and the voices in my head. Um, and then after the show, I do rebroadcast this pretty much everywhere I can find it on my uh, podcast through Anchor and everywhere podcasts are available. Um, I put this on YouTube and Instagram, IGTV too. So, so wherever you are, you can you can scope it out. If you're live with me right now, well, dude, tell me if after this live stream or maybe during, if you're going to be like me, you're going to have a cup of coffee, even though you shouldn't because it's four o'clock mountain now um, and uh, drinking a bunch of caffeine this late in the afternoon, um, you might be up until, you know, 2, 2 a.m. So if uh, if that's you, let me know in the comments. Um, if you're watching that, that is totally me. I have the coffee here. I can smell it. Oh, it smells so good. I don't want to drink it during the live stream because it'll give me coffee mouth. I don't know if that's a technical term or anything. Anyway, anyways. All right. If you're catching the, uh, the, uh, if you're on live, say hello. I will uh, try to jump in the comments and, and check and say hi to you as well. Um, if you're watching the replay, please come back and say hi. I will say hi to you again too. Thanks so much. Any comments, questions, bring it on. Likes, love is always appreciated. All right. So what's happening? So I'm Kelly Wilson. There's a picture of me right there. <laughs> and this is Real Talk. It's a podcast about voiceover. Working with them, hiring them, the stories inside and outside of the booth, and really, you know, any anything else I think up. So if you do have questions for me about this show, um, I'd love to cover it here on the podcast. Because, you know, I, I come up with the ideas, but, you know, I want to know what you're thinking and what you want to. So uh, you can either you can comment here on the live stream or, um, you know, just uh, send me an email, kelly at kellywilsonvo.com. And, uh, and yeah, oh, there it is. Boom. Buttons clicking. <laughs> okay, so this week I'm talking about myself, <clears throat> VO, and ADHD. I'm talking about me. If anyone knows who I am, um, please let me know because I, I don't know. Isn't that like? up there with the meaning of life. Like, what is this? So if you don't know, if you don't follow me here on, if you're on LinkedIn or Twitter or Facebook or wherever I've repurposed or here on the podcast. Um, so I'm Kelly Wilson and I am tech, I'm a full-time voice actor, but kind of during the summer, I, I'm basically a part-time voice actor hour wise, um, making a full-time income, which is, you know, I'm, I'm thankful and that's awesome. And, you know, it took a lot to get here and it's, it's pretty cool. Um, and that's really mostly just during the summer, just because, you know, it's summer. I got kids. The kids are all over the place. I can't wait till they go back to school. Two weeks. Who's counting? I am. I have a, like a countdown clock with like the seconds and the minutes till they go back to school. Yeah. Um, then I can work more. And, you know, I love my kids, but I enjoy working, too. So, oh, uh, that's just me, maybe. But um, so who am I? I'm a dork. I'm a nerd. I'm a goofball. I'm me. And I'm kind of weird. And, and I've always been. And honestly, this weirdness, this, the way in which I think, I don't know, it's always helped out uh, in, in voiceover. And um, it's just, I'm not saying that voiceover is easy for me, but um, it is something that I picked up on fairly quickly and then worked my butt off for, and I'm, I'm still working hard for, but um, I, don't, I don't know, it just, it, it just always fit my personality really well. And and I always just thought that my weirdness was a personality trait and a quirk. And, you know, it probably is. I mean, that's just how I roll. Um, however, in 2020, uh, was that last year? <laughs> I learned some new things about myself. And uh, I decided to get screened for ADHD. And it's just something that I always assumed I had. I mean, if I ever looked up the symptoms, I'm like, yep, yep, yep. Every time, every single box, I'm like, that's me, that's me, that's me. And... Um, it was, it just, okay, that's me. Cool. But in 2020, it was a really hard year, probably the hardest year ever that I've ever experienced harder than the great recession back in what 2008 ish. Um, probably because I have kids now and a mortgage and you know, mom pants. I'm not wearing mom pants. Oh my, um, I really, I just looked down. I think I went, I think I really am wearing mom pants today, but I was out in the sun with the kids and the water and Anyways, okay, sorry, I will focus. <clears throat> VO and ADHD people. So 
I, you know, I always assumed I had ADHD, but I never went and I, I never got screened. But in 2020, it was stressful, man. Like in 24 hours, the whole country shut down and I was working, you know, I just launched, I just went full time with my new business that I've been side hustling for years previous and just, you know, decided to, to do it. And, um, and, you know, all of a sudden I'm going to be a homeschool teacher and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be a daycare. I'm going to take care of my kids and I'm going to cook and clean and which I'm not good at doing any of those things. Um, so it was, it was intense. And plus the, you know, the whole world was like going cray cray. Yeah. I'm, I'm a dork as I've mentioned. Um, it was just, it was really stressful. And I, I totally get that. Like uh, I got it good. <laughs> And there's way more people out there who have it worse off than I. But 2020 was rough. So I decided to go get screened. Um, and maybe you're wondering, like, like, why did you even care? Like, how does that, how does ADHD and stress, how does that even, like, fit together, dude? Well, I'm learning. <laughs> and it was just, a, it was one of those things where I was like, you know what? <laughs> what can I... Uh, Nothing else is working out for me. Let's go see if I can make it worse. <laughs> um, no, I was just at my wits end, essentially. And, and I've always wanted to know. And I'm like, you know what? Let's, let's go do this. So I was just so stressed out. And I thought, let's find out if ADHD and stress, maybe they're related. Because um, if I've always had this ADHD thing, but then my world got so, like, harder and stressed maybe getting diagnosed, maybe getting some help, maybe I can get less stressed out and then magically become a rock star voice actor swimming through piles of money in my kitchen um, while wearing mom pants. Maybe that is what would happen. <laughs> That's <laughs> No, no one else. It sounds, it sounds amazing. I really am wearing mom pants right now. So um, surprise, if you've heard me talk at all and you know anything about ADHD or you don't. Yeah, surprise. Yeah, I have it. <laughs> so I went and I got screened and yes, I have ADHD, uh, com combined type, hyperactive and inattentive. I got them all, baby. Um, and while I'm not yet swimming through piles of money, I, I keep it in my bank. I'm still wearing those mom pants though. Um, I'm moving in the right direction of better understanding who I am. And that's why, that's why getting screened for ADHD um, that's why it was good for me and my business and my life and, and everything, you know? Um, so yeah, getting diagnosed with ADHD officially did not magically fix everything, but, um, you know, like all of us, we're a work in progress and, and I'm a million times stressed out this, t this time of the year, like a year ago, I was probably a different person. It feels like it's like, not to be cheesy, but um, it's like I'm, you know, like a butterfly shedding my skin or coming out of the cocoon. I don't remember anything about butterflies, but, you know, I feel as though I'm growing and changing in a good way, in, in a way of better understanding myself and better taking care of myself, which leads to less burnout, which leads to me being a better voice actor overall. Because everything's related to everything, right? So, no, I'm not like, I'm fixed now. Everything's perfect. No. <laughs> um, that's, I, I don't think that works for anyone. But um, I am moving in the right direction. And I'm getting healthier and healthier. And I'm understanding how I roll and why I do what I do. And, um, and, and, and looking back on life and being like, oh, that's why I did those unhealthy things. Or... And, and those unhealthy things still manifest sometimes. I mean, you know, if I get tired, I get stressed out, I will fall back and do those unhealthy things and, you know, lame habits of just not sleeping and not eating and just like work, 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 and not doing any self-care, um, which impacts stuff. I mean, yeah, you can still work hard, but dude, you have to like eat and sleep and drink water. <laughs> So, <laughs> so, so, yeah. So how does this really interact with voiceover? Well, I don't know. I've been thinking about this more and more and I'm a business owner. So yeah, I'm a voice actor. I'm a business owner, right? 
and I work for myself out of my home studio. Um, my kids were, I've got the door closed and the booth closed and the door locked because kid two can now unlock. Well, they can both unlock doors, but kid two will just bust up in here like the Kool-Aid man, like, Hey, what's going on? Um, <laughs> but, uh, sometimes at home where I work, it's pure chaos and it's overstimulating. It's hard. Um, it's stressful and it's also fun too. And not everyone can do this job the skills you need. I mean, just the voiceover part in general, half the time I'll audition all day long. <laughs> I'll hear no it's crickets. I didn't get the job and they didn't tell me I didn't get the job. I mean, 90% of the time, that's where it's at. It's that 10% that um, pays the bills, baby. <laughs> and it is that uh, that, that, that intensity that, um, uh, I don't know that it's just fun. Like, am I going to get this one? Am I going to get this one? Oh, I didn't. But, Ooh. And then when you did, it's just, I don't know. It's just fun. So the skills you need just to be able to, yeah, I mean, I put this whole booth together. I'm an, and en I engineer myself, you know, all the voiceover type skills, that job, and then the business skills. And dude, I mentioned that half the time I audition and, um, I don't get it. <laughs> Roy Zachary says, play the harmonica, it helps. Um, thanks, thanks, Roy. My my kid has a harmonica, but uh, does it help if you're not good at playing it? Or <laughs> uh, anyways, okay. So 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 yeah. Why why do I care, and why am I sharing with you that I got diagnosed to be you know with this mental health disorder that I wasn't sure I had. Like, why should you care? Well, dude, everything impacts everything. I mean, if you imagine yourself like a machine, <laughs> I get it. You're, you're a human and stuff, but, and so am I, but you know, you, you got a car and, and you, you take it and you service it and you, you know, you take care of it. I mean, understanding more about myself and why and how I work and how my brain works helps me be a better well-oiled machine. So that's why. And to be honest with you, I was supposed to I was supposed to do this podcast, this topic a lot sooner. Um I chickened out and I'm still scared. Um every second of every day. <laughs> um you know, I'm scared that you'll judge me for talking about this for you know, for, for being open about it. I, I'll, I'll scare, I'm scared that you'll believe all the in, uh, misinformation that's out there, but here I am. I mean, dude, my whole, you know, I mean, my whole life, uh, th these have been fears of, you know, not enoughness. And, and I, I highly doubt I'm the only one. So I'm putting it out there. And, uh, I, I guess the second thing is I want to encourage you if there's something that you want to get checked, maybe it is in the mental health realm. Um, if you've been putting it off to be screened for something or get help or you think a therapist is going to help or, you know, or maybe even just a business coach or the voiceover coaching or whatever, man. Maybe you need to get someone to come clean your house so you can, like, sit on your butt and you just don't feel like you deserve it or it's okay or it's right. Um, you are important. Helping you out, that is important. Yes, even for your business, because everything impacts everything. So if, if you got something on your mind, I hope you uh, go and, and get it checked. And uh, getting your mental health right, um, you know, it's kind of like waves. I mean, I'm not like, I'm fixed now. No. And I have so much to learn about ADHD and how I work. And if I've said anything that has, you know, if someone out there is listening and they're like, I have ADHD and you said that wrong or I'm offended. Sorry, I am. I'm learning um, that that was not my intent, but. But it's OK, I'm putting it out there and I'm moving forward. And like I said, I'm not fixed, but. Understanding and knowing is a million times more helpful um, like me last year and Kelly in 2020 and Kelly in 2021, uh, summer of 2021, totally different. And, uh, it's good. It's a good different. I'm like a good butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, hey, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for checking out my show, Real Talk. If you hire voice actors, do. That's what I do. I'm hanging out in my booth right now. Um, you can check out my demos and other, uh, you can find out more about me and uh, other work samples, kellywilsonvo.com. And if you ever need other voices on your roster, you can download my freebie, uh, Five Fantastic Voice Actors for Your Roster, um, at kellywilsonvo.com slash subscribe and when you subscribe um, you can get my freebie and I'll keep you in the loop on this podcast um, voiceover projects I got going on and my studio book out dates Ooh, I am not in the studio Monday August 23rd of 2021 which is soon which my kiddo goes back to school and I'm gonna cry yet be excited it's gonna be a very weird day that day anyways not available August 23rd of 2021 Dude, if you got questions for me um, about voiceover, um, shoot, even about ADHD, even though I'm not an expert, uh, you know, ask. Maybe I can cover it here on the show. Kelly at kellywilsonvo.com. Love to hear what you're thinking. Ratings and reviews, always appreciated, man. Um, if Share it if you know someone who could, you know, use the show. Um, whenever someone asks, hey, Kelly, I want to start out marketing myself in voiceover. I did a podcast about that and I'll just send them the podcast. Be like, here you go. Um, so, uh, you know, ratings, reviews, really appreciated. Share the show with someone who can uh, use it and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you can check out the podcast. For, I'm putting it as many places as I possibly can, or you can go direct anchor.fm slash Kelly Wilson VO. I really appreciate your time. And uh, I think it's Monday. Yeah. Have a great, uh, have a great week, and I'm drinking some coffee now, uh, even though I shouldn't. So thanks. Later. Have a great afternoon. Bye.